Isaiah 54, 13 tells us, And your sons will be taught of the Lord, and great will be your children's peace. There are a number of things to be excited about with Adventist education in the Texas Conference. Our enrollment has steadily increased over the last four years. We now have over 2,500 students in our schools. We have 31 schools, five of which are senior academies, which offer through grade 12. And another exciting piece is that we are having three schools become senior academies. They're in that transition stage that they will soon be able to offer fully accredited 12th grade education. We service our schools with three associate superintendents and two administrative assistants out of our Office of Education. We supervise over 200 teachers in our schools throughout the state. We also service our school boards by meeting with them, consulting with them, helping with them with the local decisions they make in operating our schools. We also in-service our teachers. We want them to be up on the current methodology of teaching and instructing our kids. We provide uh, an orientation to our new teachers. One of our major goals in the Texas Conference is to improve our math scores. We monitor this through our national testing, our Iowa test of basic skills. The, the goal of improving our math scores is very important because our kids really need that foundation to excel in today's world. In addition to supporting our teachers and schools, we hold three major events throughout the year that directly help our students. The first event in the fall, we hold our freshman Bible camp. That is a way that we want to help our kids launch their high school careers from a very positive spiritual standpoint. In the winter, we bring in all of our seventh and eighth graders for our annual music fest. We have choir and band, both, so that our kids can get a full musical experience. We're happy to be cooperating with Southwestern Adventist University in this endeavor. Our final event is our biggest, and that is our outdoor school. Each April, we bring all of our fifth and sixth graders in from across the conference and put them in a place where they can learn from God's first book of nature. We have a strong curriculum with over 12 different classes, but it's done in a setting of being in the outdoors and being able to, to feel that connection with God through nature. I could go on with more about the things that the education department does to support our schools and our teachers. But what really excites me about Adventist education in the Texas Conference is when I hear stories of how our teachers impact the lives of our students and their families. I recently heard a story about how one of our, our parents was searching for a school to put their, their son in to. They weren't happy with the, the school their child was in. The child would come home depressed, not, not feeling good about themselves. She heard about the Adventist school through another parent. At first, she wasn't sure about Adventist education, but she became so desperate, she decided to check us out. She came in and, and met the teachers, met the principal, and was really impressed. So she decided to go ahead and enroll her son. Well, over the next several months, her son improved so much in not only his academics, but in his attitude and the way he was feeling about himself that she decided, hey, I've got to go see what these Adventists are all about. And this is where the church family stepped in. The pastors embraced her, made her feel warm and welcome. The church members did the same. And through all of that, she and her husband decided to take, make the decision for baptism during the last week of May. This is a great way to see how our churches and our schools can work together in ministry to benefit our, our constituents in the Texas Conference. You know, I like to think of it that we have a 180 day evangelistic series going on in the 31 schools across our conference. Please continue to pray for us and for our students as they work to become leaders in preparation for Jesus' soon return.